Okay, just like yesterday on the video on springtails, this is another one that people keep asking me. It's about, can I go and get moss in winter? Does moss grow in winter? Where can I get moss from in winter? Oh my God, same place as you do in spring and summer. Watch this and find out. Evidently, England has turned into the Everglades and uh, yeah, this is my usual path that is no longer existing. So I'm going to go all the way around and it's bloody freezing. Well, it doesn't look it, but it is actually minus two here. So, oh great, this is a pass. Options, options. Mm. It's like I'm walking through this one. And yes, the reason I'm out here was moss in winter. And there's plenty of it. Like I said, it's minus two here. That water's all frozen. Can't tell in the camera, but it is. But there's plenty of moss here. Both sides. I've got this little bit of a walkway up the middle. Uh, let's go this way. See if we can get all the way around. Okay, check this out. Wait a minute. Hypnum moss. Now, uh, you can see it's cold. There's snow on these leaves. Hypnum moss is growing really, really well. If I grab a bit. Look at that. There we Let's put it there. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. So, I'll take a bit of this back with me. I've got some mantis enclosures I want to tart up before I use them. I'm going to nick a bit of this frosty, crispy moss. Look how well that's going. It'll do for me. This makes me think I should have brought a gimbal. I do have one on a 4K camera, but uh, I had every intention of just looking at moss, so I didn't bother. But, as I was saying about moss, I think winter is probably the best time to actually collect this bloody thing, because not only does it stay here and it stay green, it actually keeps on growing and looks pretty cool. I think it's easier to pick up as well because it comes in one chunk when you grab hold of it. Now, the only problem is my fingers are bloody freezing. As this is a dog walking path mostly here, up here I'm right near the road now, the local council has found it within their wisdom to chop all the trees down on the edge, which uh, I'm inclined to agree with them because all these trees that they've chopped down and now covered in moss. So I have this half mile stretch of mossy branches and bits of wood and that's actually what I came for for the mantis enclosures because mantis likes to climb up so I need to provide them something and uh, what better than a mossy branch. So I'm just going to grab some of these stick them in my container here I'll be happy. There's lots of these little ones like this. I'm just going to snap them off and we're going to use those in the tanks. I'll get on with it. It's hard to believe that in a month or so this will start to become green. Because that's how England works. Very weird. Right. Spring sort of takes a long time to come because the leaves start putting up around February, mid February, most of them, but don't fully leaf up until about May. So it takes quite a while, but it does start down early. I've gone. So far now. <laughs>
I'm getting out of breath going up a hilly. And I'm going to try and go round from where I started, where the water was. And hopefully I'm going in the other side. <sighs> See if I can make it. More moss. A different type. <sighs> but not a big deal. Right, you can just simply play it up if you wanted it. I don't actually want this one. I've got tons of it. I've got boxes for this. So, but there's plenty of moss here. And I've come in the other side and I'm greeted with the same sight, which is water everywhere. Sort of ponds, but not ponds. Uh, I'm going to carry on walking through this little bit here that seems drier. And see if I can get to where I want to go for my, more of my mossy um, logs, branches twigs anyway again does moss grow in winter oops i think the answer to that is yes and can you get it yes it's everywhere so you've no excuse stop putting off going for a walk and looking at the moss because it's everywhere and it's really easy to pick up so if you can stand the freezing cold then the mosses at your disposal. Well, I hope you enjoyed that really quick video of me walking in the woods. Felt a bit like Wild of the Rings, to be honest with you. Walking, walking, walking. But I did manage to get moss and prove to you, even though there was snow on the ground, there is still moss there and you can still collect it and it's still fine. And I'm going to be updating these because these look terrible. I've just been using these and they've been in the dark, a lot of them and uh, there's no moss in them, or the moss has died in them because it was in the dark. It's a mantis. I don't have a mantis for long, and it's set up for a mantis. I'll just put it in the cupboard, uh, and everything dies inside it. So the only thing that's alive in there is the isopods, generally when I take it out in the spring tails, because I'll still spray it, but it's in the dark and everything dies, so I need to update all of them. Uh, the moss I got was ah, generally a big bunch of stuff like this. I've actually got a snail in there as well, conveniently, somewhere. I wasn't expecting that, not in the, uh, not, not to say it was snowing. But anyway, I got, I got this and I got a, a, another, another box of it down there and some uh, little mossy branches that I'm going to be using for these. But it just proves you can go out right now in the cold, in the snow, in the winter, get yourself some moss, stop being lazy, it's just cold. It's the weather. That's what happens every year. Get used to it. Now carry on making terrariums. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.